Hello my friends, John LaRufa here with another Unbiased Unboxing, and this time we're going to be taking a look at the newest printing of Cooper Island right here. This is the printing that just finished up. Um, I had uh, I ordered it directly from uh, Capstone Games, and I wanted to make sure because this had the inclusive inclusion of the one-player variant plus um, some extra stuff. So let's take a look at it and see what we get. Okay, so first things first, inside the shipping package, I did get apparently new boats right here. So this is what you get, this little thing of new boats. Um, and that's the back right there. So that piece of the component was in there. Um, also, I see that it now says four, one to four players instead of two to four. So that tells me that I got the newest version, which is what I was looking for. Um, I do like the box art. And as usual, as many people would know, I also like the fact that you can see the game in play on the back. Love that. I like how clear it tells you this stuff. They still give you the narrative. They give you a full components list. Very good. And it also says includes the solo deck. So really good. Very informative. So far, starting out pretty darn good with regards to what I'm seeing in this box. All right. So, as we crack it open, what do we get? Plain box inside, nothing special or spectacular there. I find some large, chunky wooden pieces. So it looks like we have classic houses that you have seen before in many other games. Circles, discs, uh, some boats. So a host of that. Pretty standard fare. Not good, not bad, just is, so no problem. We've got a little store, score sheet right here pad of probably, um, oh, I don't know, maybe about 25 of these little guys. Bag of cubes. This might be tough on those who are colorblind to see some of the differences. Luckily, um, that isn't me, but I can see that that might be tough because some of these colors are pretty close to one another or in poor lighting. Might be difficult. I like that it comes with a little sack of bags or a wrapping of bags. That's good because when you pay this much for a game, you want to have bags to store it in. Here is the rule book. Looks like it's a little bit different, again, from you know what's online because it talks about one to four players. And I don't know, you know, contextually exactly what's different on here, but as I flip through it, it looks like it is very well illustrated um, and laid out so that it should be fairly doable to read and learn. I like how there's color coding and there's examples and there's icons. I mean, that really helps. You know, I, I tell you what, um, there are some publishers of board games that do not handle things like this. And, and I, I always wonder why. It's much easier to learn a game when you can look at everything and see it versus having wall upon wall of text and then example, which is also text with no pictures or very few pictures. So that's difficult. Okay, it looks like we have a sort of like a burlap sack here, quite deep. All right, and the drawstrings. Looks like it's in pretty good shape, good construction, no issue from the bag. I have a little solo deck of cards here, which I'll open up. I might as well open them up right now. See what we get. This is for the solo deck. All right, so we've got... Um, a little bit on the thin side, but it is textured. Cards here, so it's explaining. And here comes the wall of text. Um, okay, so uh, you're not seeing any of that, sorry. Um, so we've got a lot of text here, lots of different things I'm going to have to learn and understand. There's This isn't just pictures and go. There's there's more to it than that. So looks like this is going to maybe be take a little bit of doing to learn solo. That's okay. Not the end of the world. Okay, now we have the player deck, or not the player deck, but the actual game card deck here. Um, same feel, same thickness, same texture. So we've got some illustrated ships, some other kind of money cards here. All right, some locations. Again, not knowing much about the specifics of the game. It's tough for me to know what I'm looking at, but, oops. The, um, the artwork looks just fine. The text is good. It tells you kind of what you're doing. So this looks like it'll be just fine with regards to 
how these cards work in play. All right, and then a final scoring card. Okay, that's cool. All right. Now, cardboard components-wise, let's see what we've got. We're going to go ahead and just take a look at this. All right, so we've got some really nicely illustrated cardboard here. Maybe those are the old boats. I don't know. Probably. Thickness-wise, it's just a smidge on the thinner side. Um, not super thick. Not, not super thin, but just maybe just a little bit on the thin side there. So that's one thing that hopefully will not be a problem. We've got, again, more, more components here in the back. Seems like they're going to come out pretty easily. I can feel them kind of moving in my hands. No problems there. So I don't think punching this will be a difficulty or be very difficult. Pardon me. Okay. And we've got some more tokens. Looks like we've got some island attachments here. A center board. Oh, found some components there. We'll get back to those in just a second. All right, and then here are, you know, a myriad of landscape tiles there. So these are well illustrated, look colorful. Now these are thicker, so that's interesting. So these are double thickness here. These things, and maybe that's, you know, maybe that's going to be helpful. You'll be handling these more. So they did make these nice and thick, thicker than the other components that I was uh, handling just a second ago. All right, so we've got that. Okay, and then we've got the player boards. Let me carefully remove these. Now these are, you know, like postcard thickness here, not thick at all, but that means they won't warp. So I guess if I could take it, I'd rather have something like this for a player board that's really thin, that doesn't warp, than a uh, cardboard player board that spins around because it warps so much. And that's really frustrating. So we've got four of these bad boys. Certainly looks like they're capturing a lot of different things on here. That's for sure. And then we've got these. And what are these? Okay, and here, these are again, these are player colors, so we're talking, you know, other parts of the player board. And that's what you have. So, so far, I'd say the components are pretty darn good. Um, interesting to see two different thicknesses of cardboard, but that'll be just fine. Um, the uh, side of the box looks like it maybe has a little bit of a narrative on the, uh, maybe the designers and the um, illustrator, perhaps. So that's cool. All right. All right. So again, John LaRuffa here for another Unbiased Unboxing. This time we looked at Cooper Island. Please like and subscribe to my YouTube as I really appreciate it. Thank you very much for your time and everybody enjoy their gaming.